Hey, Poisanos! It's the Super Cody Super Show. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, so today I'm going to be doing another Blu-ray unboxing for you guys today. And that is on the 4K release of Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Uh, this was sort of a surprise to me. I don't know if anybody knows my history with Pokemon. I have a very, 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 very slim deadline. I grew up with the original series. I love the original series. I have memories of the original series, you know, from, you know, Burger King, which was like a big thing back then for those of us who grew up with Pokemon in the late 90s. I remember going there as I was moving to Alabama. I got a Poliwhirl, a little Beanie Baby, plush Beanie Baby thing from Burger King. I also got a poster from Burger King uh, that was promoting the toys because they had a bunch of the rolled posters. And I remember when I was begging for the Pokemon car, uh, gold Pokemon card that was inside the Pokeball. I didn't get it until Christmas that year. And I remember the Pokemon movie. I have all those really genuine memories of Pokemon. I, I loved it. Um, and there's some things from my childhood that I still have, like this Pokemon board game called Pokemon Master Trainer. That was like the like highlight of my childhood. Me and my cousins would play that game like crazy. That and Pokemon Stadium 1 and 2. Those were the best years of my life. Uh, and then on the Game Boy, everybody went with red or blue. My ass went for yellow because I was more into the anime than the card game. I had my own cards, but I loved the TV show. And I had a lot of memories. So um, I dropped out of Pokemon around the Johto time. And I really hadn't paid attention to Pokemon since. And nothing's excited me until they said, Hey, we're doing a live action Pokemon movie. I was like, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> so I was curious for a while, how the hell are they going to accomplish that? There's never been a successful video game ad adaptation or a live action adaptation of an anime in ever. We, we got that mess, Dragon Ball Evolution, and then recently they did Death Note on Netflix, and God knows what else they've done. But Pokemon? How are they going to screw this up? It's a pretty simple concept, right? Well, surprisingly, it was good. It was a surprise. And I enjoyed it. Um, there were a lot of callbacks to things that I had experienced when I was a kid. Um, you know, Ryan Reynolds as Pikachu was amazing. Uh, he's probably the highlight of this whole thing. Not a big fan of some of the main characters. Like, uh, what was his name? Justice Smith. Um, it just, it, you know, it seemed kind of... Uh, I, I don't know. It's just a forgettable character, I guess. And he's supposed to be the Ash of of the movie. Like, he's he's a, a, a kid down on his luck. He used to love Pokemon, and people were trying to push him to catch Pokemon. But for some reason, he's just turned off from Pokemon until he finds out that his dad uh, supposedly dies in an accident. Um, and everything from that point on is, you know, a adventure with, uh, Pikachu and a talking Pikachu. I mean, it's great. I love the fact that Mewtwo is the antagonist in this. Um, and I loved looking for every single Pokemon, the art style and the design of the Pokemon for a live action, uh, adaptation was like a dream come true. Uh, I think everything was done properly and as good as it could have been done. Um, definitely a nostalgic thing for me going to see this. I, I thought it was great. And, of course, it warranted me to pick it up on 4K. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and show you guys the, the cover after I just rambled on and on and on about <laughs> the movie and give my little review. But yeah, there's the front. It does come with a really cool thing that I have not seen in a long time, which is the fact it includes a card, which I'll show you guys in just a second. It includes uh, detective mode. I don't know what that is, but really cool artwork right here. And then there's the side. The light is horrible in here, but it works when it wants to. Here's the back. Right there. So take the slip cover off. It's the same as I'm going to try to move this over here so the light actually works. So here's the 
the case right here. Damn white. Anyway, so uh, bonus features included on this includes the uh, alternate opening, My Pokemon Adventure, creating the world of Detective Pikachu featurettes, Mr. Mime's audio commentary. That's clever. Uh, Ryan Reynolds outside the actor's studio and a music video. Cool. And inside we have the discs here, which is pretty much basic blue discs. What are you, Disney? What the hell? No. <laughs> Disney's used to doing that crap. Warner Brothers, I expect better. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, I forgot to show this off because it fell off my, uh, out of my case. Here's the card right here. I, again, I really wish my ex didn't drag off that really beautiful 4K t uh, TV. That's right here. 4K Sony camera because she jacked that. She did pay for it. I can't blame her, but, you know, now I can't have my videos looking pretty like they used to. That's what happens when you lose somebody. You lose all the stuff that you benefited from. I'm kidding. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> but yeah, there's the card right there. I did not open this. Um, I don't know why. I, I'm not a big Pokemon card collector like I used to be, so it's probably best that I just keep it in here. Plus, you can see it's right there. Why, why would I want to, you know, take it out? But it's got a hollow foil like effect going on there with a picture of Pikachu from the movie and his attack is coffee break and a corkscrew punch yeah I haven't held a Pokemon card in 20 years guys it's it's interesting but yeah the the movie was great I thought it was awesome and uh, I picked this up as soon as it came out on 4k um, it definitely is worth checking out if you guys were Pokemon fans because I am a, a, a generation one Pokemon fan. I grew up with the hype, the Pokemania, everything about it was unique and lightning in a bottle for its time. Um, but nowadays it's just kind of like a, there's a fatigue. I thought it lost its edge and its interest uh, it, it, and it was kind of gone as soon as they went to Master Quest, I think it was. I did not go into uh, Johto League Champions, I watched Johto Journeys as a kid, and that's when I stopped. Uh, it was around the third movie, it kind of, well, no, I take that back, I rented the fourth one, Ce the Celebi one, forgot what it was called, but I think it was Pokemon Forever or something like that, you know, puns, but um, that was, that was it, that was when I stopped watching Pokemon, and I think I just got a little too old for it, I was just now getting into middle school. And everybody wants to grow up, <laughs> except me. You know, even though I, I dropped out of the whole nerd thing, I still didn't get a date for prom. Mm. But hey, everything's good now, right? This went depressing. Anyway, <laughs> I got it. guys, by the way, I joke. I, I, I fuck around with myself, so if you guys don't take that seriously. I, I'm trying to be funny. That's the way things work out in, on this channel. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the random bullshit that I'm throwing into it. You know, comedy. And um, yeah, I'll be back with more videos soon, guys. So hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I will talk to you guys later.